Did you know that we offer seven different types of measurements in the Room Sketcher app? I'll show you all of them. And they're all available in meters or feet. Now the first one I want to show you is room area. So first make sure you're in the walls mode. Then click on the room where you want to show the area size. And in the settings on the right side, turn on show zone size. This can be done with all the rooms in your project. Now, as you can see, I'm using feet, but you can easily change that to meters by going to the orange menu and clicking meters or feet. For the next measurement types I wanna show you, let's go to windows, etc. mode. And then we're gonna go into measurement wizards. So these are automatic measurements that are based on the length that you have put into your walls. Let's start with room dimensions. Just click and drag it onto the floor plan. Super easy. Next one, let's do room measurements. Same thing, just click and drag it into the room. Then we'll do outside measurements. Click and drag it, but this time release it in the canvas, not in a room. So here we have the typical inside room measurements. You also have the outside measurements. But if you want to display the measurements of just one wall, whether it be inside or outside, you can use this one, wall measurements. Again, click and drag it, but make sure to hover over the wall. Don't bring it into the room. It's not gonna stick. So place it right on top of the wall there and release. Let's do that one more time with an outside wall. Just click and drag it, hover over the wall, and then place it. Again, so simple. We have one more type of automatic measurements, and that's the total area measurement tool. To find that, just go to the orange menu and click total area. So the first thing it's gonna show you in this window is the area types. And you can choose an area type that's gonna give you the um, area size. And it's also gonna show you in this image here what is included in that area size. So we can have a look at grand total area. We can have a look at gross internal area. And you can see they're different in what's included. If you just want a list of all the measurements and all the area sizes for this current level, you can have a look here. If you have more levels, you can also have a look at project to see the entire or complete area size for your entire property. Wonderful. Now these were the more automatic measurements that we have. We also have some manual ones and these will typically be used to measure things like fixed installations, fixtures, and also to measure the distance between items. So to find those, let's go out of measurement wizards and into symbols, text and lines. But before we start placing these, we want to make sure that we can see all the fixed installations that we have in this project. So for example, the kitchen cabinets, because right now we can't see them. Although I know that I have placed them in the furniture mode. So to bring that into windows, etc. mode, go to the orange menu and click always furniture. And there we go. Now you can see all the furniture, the fixed installations that you have placed. So now we can start with the more manual measurements. And in the symbols, text and lines category, almost all the way at the bottom, you have these two, the measure line and the measuring tape. Let's start by measuring a window. And I'll use this one. Just click and drag it onto the floor plan. And there are two ways of doing it. You can try to place it uh, where the window begins and ends and use these arrows to adjust it. But you can also put in the exact length in the settings on the right side. Just make sure to leave some space between the text and the window so that they don't overlap. Let's do that one more time with a door. So just click on the plus sign to go back to the menu. And we'll choose the same one click and drag it onto the floor plan and we're gonna do this door here just place it adjust it or put in the exact length in the settings on the right side 
and just make sure there is some space between the text and the door. Great. Now, I also want to add some measurements to the kitchen uh, cabinets, but this time I'll use the measure line. As you can see, this one is a bit different. For one, it has flat edges, not the arrowheads, and it does not show the actual uh, measurement or the numbers on the line. However, it does show the measurements in the settings on the right side. So the way that I like to use this one is to place it, because for me this is easier to place than the arrowheads. Place it, adjust it, and then I will look at the measurements in the settings on the right side, copy it by doing Control C or Command C if you have a Mac. I'll click on the plus sign to go back to the menu. I'll add a text box, click and drag it. And then in the label in the settings, I'll paste the measurement. And that's it. You can also make the text smaller if you think it's taking up too much space by going to font size and doing, let's say, ooh, not 178, but 18. And there we go. Now, the other thing that we can do with these more manual measuring tools, like I mentioned earlier, is to measure the distance between items. And I'll use this one again. You can use both. Click and drag it. Now I want to check the distance between the kitchen island and the kitchen cabinets, just to make sure there's enough walking space between them. So I'll just adjust it a little bit, place it, and there we go. So it's about 2.7 feet. And then you can think about, is that enough space? Maybe you need to move the island a little bit more to the left, or you can leave it as is. And that's it for measurements in the Room Sketcher app. I hope this was helpful, but if you do have questions about measurements, please let us know at support at roomsketcher.com. Thanks for watching.